Hello everyone, my name is Jyoti Shah. I'm a Director of Applications Development at ADB. Today, I want to talk about something at the heart of successful technology organizations, alignment. Specifically, how engineering teams and product leaders can come together to create products that don't just work, but thrive in the market. This talk is about code meets product because the magic really happens when technical execution and product strategy reinforce each other. Too often, code is treated as an isolated technical artifact and business strategy as a separate track. But in practice, every line of code carries a business impact whether it's improving user experience, enabling scalability, or lowering cost. When I was leading a project, I realized code alone couldn't thrive adoption. It was only when we aligned architecture choices with customer outcomes that the portal become a true business driver. Let's start by examining why alignment is so hard in the first place. Engineering teams typically optimize for technical excellence. Things like refactoring, performance optimization, or adopting new frameworks. Product managers, on the other hand, focus on speed to market, user outcomes, and business metrics. Both perspectives are valid, but when they operate in silos, friction arises. Engineers may feel rushed to cut corners, while product teams may see technical investments as distractions. The result? misaligned priorities and products that fall short. Consider a payroll platform built as a monolithic. Engineers see the technical depth. Product sees a working system. But when the business tries to expand globally, the crack shows. Scaling becomes slow. Outages increases. And suddenly, the technical depth is a business liability. So how do we bridge these worlds? By making technical work visible in business terms. One of the biggest challenges is translating technical priorities into outcomes executives care about. For example, refactoring isn't just about cleaner code, it's risk mitigation. A more modular system can ensure that the transaction doesn't fail during peak cycles. A practical tool here is maintaining dual roadmaps. One for product features, one for technical improvements. When both are reviewed together, it creates transparency and helps tie technical initiatives to product outcomes. And instead of measuring engineers by lines of code, measure them by product impact, reduce load times, higher throughput, or lower cost. But roadmaps alone aren't enough. We also need collaboration at the team level. Agile was designed to bring business and technology closer. Yet in practice, many teams treat agile ceremonies as checkboxes. Standups and sprint review become mechanical, not meaningful. True alignment requires engineers 
designers and product managers to sit together, solve problems together, and own outcomes together. For example, instead of saying the sprint goal is deliver API, frame it as reduce onboarding clicks to under three. Suddenly, the focus is user value, not just deliverables. Shared vocabulary matters too. Engineers talk latency. Product stock conversation. Saying milliseconds saved equals higher checkout completion. Bridges that gap. When teams start thinking this way, architecture itself becomes a business enabler. Now let's talk about building integrated teams. This is where alignment really becomes part of daily work. Not just something we talk about in quarterly planning. Integrated squads. First, integrated squads, the old way was functional silos. Engineers in one group, designers in another, product managers somewhere else. That creates handoffs, delays, and misalignment. Instead, when you embed engineers, designers, and product managers in the same team. They co-own the output, not just their individual deliverables. The difference is huge. Instead of engineers saying, I build the API, and designers saying, I designed the flow, and the team says, we reduced onboarding time by two clicks. That's outcome-driven collaboration. Second, shared vocabulary. Engineers often talk in abstractions, latency, throughput, scalability. Product managers think in outcomes, conversion rates, retentions, customer satisfaction. These worlds sound different, but they are connected. A powerful phrase I like is, milliseconds saved per transactions equals higher checkout completion. That's the bridge between the abstraction and outcome. When both sides use language tied to impact, Alignment happens naturally. Finally, continuous feedback. Agile ceremonies should showcase matrix, not just features. A sprint review should say, this new caching layer reduced load time by 48%, not just we completed a user story. And retrospect retrospectives should ask, did our work move the business needle? Not just, did we deliver on time? That feedback loop ensures every iteration tightens, alignment between code and product. So integrated squads shared vocabulary and continuous feedback create the fabric of alignment they turn collaboration into co-ownership and ensure that every sprint delivers business value not just code architectural decisions last for longer than any feature. If we align them with business strategy early, 
the returns compound take event driven architecture they no, they are not just elegant they let payroll system handle certain surges with electricity or consider modular cloud native foundations they make expanding into new regions faster and cheaper even experimentation benefits with microservices and feature flags we can test new ideas without risking system stability that balance between innovation and reliability is the sweet spot of alignment let's ground this in real world success stories in one case align aligning containerization with a company's global expansion strategy allowed engineering to deploy in new regions quickly cutting months of time to market and another predictive scaling was reframed as a zero downtime guarantee that repositioning secured executive sp sponsorship and highlighted engineering as a business driver not just a cost center these examples show a key pattern when engineers understand business impact and product leaders understand technical levers aligning becomes synergy not compromise so what practical recommendations can we take away here are five practices to institutionalize alignment dual road maps reviewed together in quarterly planning second outcome driven okrs tie engineering goals to product matrix architecture investment treat it as a differentiator not overhead fourth is cross team trust build through transparency and co-ownership fifth evolve gradually start small with pilot initiatives and then scale notice that one of these require massive reorganizations they are about changing the language the visibility and the habits of collaboration let's look at the impact alignment has across roles for product managers alignment brings clarity and predictability to development cycles no more surprises from hidden technical depth for engineers alignment elevates their work from a service function to a strategic driver they see how their code directly influences outcomes like retention revenue or resilience for the business alignment means scalable resilient products that win in the market it reduces firefighting 
and builds competitive advantage. And that brings us full circle to the core message. The best products are born when engineering priorities, architectural decisions, and business goals reinforce one another. Every line of code contributes to product success. Every architectural choices shapes business outcomes. Every act of alignment creates competitive advantage. As leaders, our job is to engineer that alignment, not leave it to chance. Because when code meets product, innovation doesn't just happen, it thrives. Thank you so much.